probably uh almost definitely This is where like a proactive consume would be nice as well, right? Like what the hell do I do? I guess I do this. What an opener, mate. <laughs> Nothing to see here, mate. So all they need to do here is kill the Maddock, right? I guess I could have tried to Maroon this, but they probably play a Maddox themselves, which I'm going to try and Maroon her instead. They're just supposed to try and kill Maddox here every time. They have no name. I'm in pro rank. That's just how it works, unfortunately, in pro rank. So they're going to move Maddox here, right? I mean, I could also just kill this, right? Could have tried to have just killed this straight away, I guess. Yeah, this is the problem, right? People know how to play against the deck, and then it's a bit. The yikes. Just kill the Maddock. That's all you have to do. Should have won that last game, man. So unfortunate. Oh, they killed the Maddock again, man. It was the reasoning given was to try and prevent win trading, but it didn't really do a very good job of that because there's still win trading going on. Basically, people would queue into each other, realize they're against their friend, and then, like, let them win. But I'm not a big fan of it, personally. Don't you fret about me. Can take care of myself. Milf is still on the board. Uh oh. Say goodbye to your Milva, my friend. Keep your heat. Oh. 
shot all the worst things. Never mind. I have no Sasuke or Milva left. I think we're winning, right? As long as we don't lose on even here, like they don't get ahead. Let's go. So I guess we we just look to AQ like the Rot Fiend, for example. So basically with this deck you need to work out when you're supposed to just not even bother with the Maddox stuff, probably. I mean I only have one Maddox, I'm just gonna bin it off. This looks fine, right? I have not tried Monster Bill, no. No Maddox. Well, I've won in the grave. But... Nice win, nice win. Let's go. My man even tech for the matchup with the Northern win. We have the Redea. We just have to hope that, and we only have one bomb. That's definitely a concern with this build that I'm not going to have enough bombs with the Redea approach. Consumer's nice. Sure can go right. Okay, finding another bomb is good. Because basically what they can do is they can just remove your Maddox and then you're in trouble. So we could also play uh, Triss Telekinesis for another bomb. In fact, we probably should. This is what I'm saying like about maybe kicking Haunt. Guys get princesses and we get one. So if they can just remove the Maddock, we're up shit creek, basically. <laughs> Why Redea? Because we can get an, uh, an urn of... Oh, let's go, guys. We can get an urn of shadows from her, which triggers the Rackus Queen, right? Okay. But yeah, Triss Telekinesis instead of like She Troll, I think is actually going to be a card I'm going to put in. I mean, I do like the idea of She Troll, but I think Triss Telekinesis for this high end bomb, because, especially because we're like severely limited by the amount of bombs we can actually play in this deck. Like with the Redea, like we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six. Should just be a seven. We could also play um, Poison Bomb, right? But I don't, want, I don't have any Poison cards, obviously. So now we get, there's our second Maddox. Third Maddox when we eat the Arrakis Queen. We could also play Decoy, right? You can Decoy the Abaya, for example. Or Decoy Redea even. If he bans, yeah, like, we, we've gone the all-in version, mate. But yeah, the, the way to beat this deck is to kill the Maddox. Obviously Heatwave the Maddox. But if people don't know how to play against this deck, like it's no joke, right? Fear, 
Nice. I'm liking this guy's um, take on witches. I'll almost definitely play some witches myself at some point soon. So I don't hate the idea of going bar guys into Foglet. So we've got four Maddox guys. Now the way we could get more is by playing Decoy, for example. Uh, Sabbath. For a re on a record screen. No. Try again. <laughs> Try again, mate. Foglet's also just pretty bad with the Maddox. So. It's also pretty bad against this deck to play against. But yeah, I could play my Sheetra and click my three Maddox and it's already at 10. Pretty cool. <laughs> Now the veil's ticking for that, it's going to be too much of a struggle. But yeah, then including the damn sorceress is definitely the motive for Witch Enna. But yeah, as, as I was saying, like, I could definitely see us moving away from the Death Wish and a vibe and then just trying to include more like... Because at the moment there's so many ch tutor cards. Um, because this is just such a combo deck for it. Excessive amount of combo cards, really. Okay, they're not passing, and that's good news for us. Hopefully, they play a little Witcher in the front row. It's a lot. Hello. <laughs> Hello, mate. What are you want some? Now we could also play a Darren route for more Maddox uh, and then Sigfried to purify. That's the other thing we could do. Because each time a Rackus Queen triggers her death where she she would spawn a one strength doom Maddox. Which is pretty interesting. Maybe I was supposed to try and play the she troll first, right? But I also just need to get the weather ticking along. Same, I'm looking pretty hot. I'm really surprised. But they're just going to let Keldar die to a bomb here. As much as I want to play my she troll, I've also got it for round three, and like this removal is super important, right? But yeah, you can see we're a little bit low on bombs overall. Which again is where like Triss could come into it. Because I do want to play the Rade, because the Rade is an extra Maddox. Yeah, so Triss seems like the vibe, right? It's looking pretty good. Not sure how many um, adepts they've played already. From hand one, then another one last round two. So this is probably not getting much better.
But as you can see, like, I'm not actually making enough use of my leader here. Either. So we still just need to, like, actually iron out the deck exactly how it's going to look. I want to play this. Probably gonna die, unfortunately. Okay. And again, the problem here is I just don't have that, that next bomb, right? Which. Is gonna play for so many points. No. Not looking great, is it, for us? Jesus, Radovid's gonna be so many points, man. We needed the red haze, mate. No, we couldn't even answer him. Radovid needs to get hot fixed, in my opinion. Oh, this is very, very broken. Go on, the she troll. So we're going to put Triss into this deck. GG. Mate, this is the thing, right? We're just against another OP deck. Like, this is just very broken. Rather, they played for, what, like, 30-odd points? So they played for six. Bear in mind, plus one on each, right, as well? Because you get a boost. So I played for six. Well, I played for eight with the two boost. 31 for 10. Jesus Christ, that's so broken, man. We were close, and this card is getting hot fixed. I think it's got to get hot fixed, right? It's so broken. We already posted a video of Radovid on my YouTube. Do we need access to bombs? At the moment, we only have access to our Arrakis Queen. We have no Abaya, no Redea, no Decoy. Okay. That is something. But yeah, like Imperial Manticore, definitely a card I'm looking at playing. My problem here, of course, is that I need a... I mean, I could Triss. Whatever. We need a bomb, mate. And you can see why we're playing Triss. Because we want to play the flipping... This is where we get Philippa right? And it's GG. <laughs> Okay. So 
So we can just go a buyer plus consume. I guess also I'm supposed to have played the Arrakis Queen here. Is it on the row? It is. So this is a, actually a really big misplay that I'm supposed to have played here, right? Four Maddox, one's in the grave, let's not forget. The one at eight. And they all should have been in the front row too. It's just a misplay from me. Wasting nine points. God pro play, thank you so much for the sub, man. What's up? A superb specimen, truly. If I saw three, I'd sub. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Oh, you saw four. One better. <laughs> and we can get a fifth, right? With Rodea. Just didn't find. And sixth, maybe with decoy. We'll probably ditch the decoy, though. We could also try and, like, cut some of the consistency cards. Like, not play a Hillock, for example. And actually just have good cards. Playing Manticore would be really nice for this deck, for sure. But imagine I just had these in the correct row would be loving life for it. Yeah, I mean, I should have. But, again, my placement... I've learned a lesson that this game, that my Maddox is spawning in the same row as my Arrakis Queen. I could have read the card before. But I didn't, but now I know. Yo, Pharaoh, thank you so much, man. Don't blame me for your crooked nose. Remove the bounty while they're at nine coins. Means they don't get any coins. And as you can see, the workout is just applying a bunch of pressure. Now we might be short on death wish cards. And you can even just use the consumes to trigger your sheet. But you can see this this hillock's gonna go, right? We're gonna ditch the hillock. While it is a consistency card, like at that point. It's so important to find your AQ round one though, but yeah. We'll ditch the hillock and probably the decoy too. Decoy is a stretch. Wait, they could have filiped the original Maddox. Oh my god, they could have filiped the original Maddox and they didn't. That is brilliant. Look at that Ram Warrior ticking along, mate. I'm happy to play the fork tail as well. <laughs> they just spent all their coins, man. Oh no. But yeah, th this is the thing, right? Like this deck becomes much worse when people know how to play against it. Like if this guy used his Philippa, if this guy was just killing all my all my original Maddox, I wouldn't be able to consume. So this is definitely a deck that becomes worse when people know how to play against it. Make no mistake. Yeah, okay, these cards are a little bit a little bit terrible, aren't they? This is the other thing with Rodeo, right? This is why we need to play Maroon, uh, 
brought Manticore as well. Like you can go like double Maruna with this. Like Rodea is still just good in this deck. Rot Fiend as well. I think we want to get Rot Fiend in this deck. I mean, we can decoy the Rodea. <laughs> I'm sure that's too good, though. This grimoire, clear without checking, it's on the list of forbidden tomes. Oops. But we're ditching decoy. I think I'm going to ditch the hillock too. I'm going to put Manticore in. Three hundred thousand now. Do we have four? But as you can see, we've uh, got a bit of a sticky situation in that I've uh, got this. <laughs> um, that's not doing too much. Hitting a flipping one point hell right now. <gasps> Wait, we can hit the ship. Oh, it's guaranteed to hit the ship. Okay. Well, that's cheered me up. Hey, Anna, what's up? I don't think I'm the best person to help you out on CSGO. I'm so bad, but I'm keen to play it, mate. Oh, I see what you mean. I remember. I could definitely... I don't play it that often, mate, to be honest. But when they play it, they sometimes ask, and I normally say no, but sometimes I go for it. But I'd definitely be keen. But yeah, you can definitely see that we just need to actually have points in this deck rather than just consistency cards for it. And this shitty decoy. So bad. It's like minus four tempo. Yeah, I get you now. But yeah, I actually don't play very often, but I'm definitely down like, if he wants to, to play me. I'm not a big fan of CS. It's all right. I'm so bad with mouse and keyboard, but I'm getting a little better. I've much like the problem with me is like, I'm trying to learn how to play mouse and keyboard and I'm playing a game that's like 10 years old. I'm like, why? Why would I not play like in a Valorant or something where it which is newer. Easy lose, uh my friend. Still have the Redea mate, the carryover from the decoy. We're ditching decoy, we're ditching probably Hillock. We're gonna put Rot Fiend into the deck. Mar uh, Manticore wrote. Yeah, I mean, if they have King of Beggars, it's over. Oh! The She Troll is not popping off, mate. So this deck's fallen to pieces, basically. But that's just because I built it like a fucking idiot. Are you serious? Huh? 
Wow. What time do you normally start and then stream it? I usually start like half three. But it's patch day in it and I was up, so I thought like, yeah. We'll just stream, why not? Okay, we're gonna kick this car. This car's just too bad to use, mate. It's like way better things to spend provisions on. Why would they do that? I used to stream like quite early though, like uh, this time, like last year I was streaming at this time, very consistently. Yeah, King of Big. Wait, wait, wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! This card's buffing himself in the deck with Jackpot. Is that what just happened? Oh God. Okay. Nice. Need another bomb, really. Oh, I have one here. Oh, let's go, mate. This I think I think we're getting there with this deck. Look tired. Yeah, I've just got a headache, mate. Nothing to worry about. I'm chilling. All good. I actually slept for a long time. I just don't feel super well. I'm a little bit tired, but I'm more like just feeling a bit like run down. But yeah, this is what you're supposed to do against this deck, right? You're supposed to just be... Just kill stuff, mate, basically. But also, it's important to try and get the Maddox carry over as soon as possible, because otherwise they can pass on you. But I think we might struggle in this particular case to actually get Maddox to stick. Which, at that point, the deck falls... Oh! <clears throat> Never mind, the deck is just popping off, mate. Again, I'll pro I, I've done it again, right, where I've played it in the wrong row. I said I would learn my lesson. <laughs> I didn't. Because the Maddox are now all going to spawn in the back row. In the front row. Never punished. So we go for a buyer first. But we've just got the control tools with the manticore, with the heat wave. We've got enough bombs. We've got the Redea for another one. Right, so we're going to be quad Maddock, even though we're on red coin. We don't have, like, this Sheetron nonsense. We're still playing the Vran. Got the Cyclops with some more control too, right? But we also got lucky that we found everything having kicked the Hillock. But we still have Raw, the Korean Neuromancy. Still a lot of investment. I think we found the list. This is the one. This is the one, mate. I mean, we might tweak a couple cards here and there, but we're pretty much there, mate. The Heat Wave, the Manticore. Like the Manticore synergy with, with Redea as well, it's just too good not to go for. So now the question is, do we want to play a Redea for one more Maddox? Or would we rather save the Redea for something like Double Maruna? Like, is the Andrega Warrior, for example, enough? Andrega Warrior plays as a 5 plus 3. It's an 8. 
So th this wouldn't be... I would have to play this anyway. I think I'm just going to do this, mate. The more Maddox, the better. And importantly, you you, you want to play into round two. So you don't want to just go down a load of cards to get all the Maddox, right? That's why I was just slamming tempo. And like when they had when they played the tree in, I killed the one strength tree. Sounds like I have a cold. Yeah, I'm just a bit. I'm alright. I'm just. I don't think I have a cold. Okay, I'm just a bit run down. I'll be alright. Let's get out and about in a bit. Get some fresh air. Rot thing's just like fantastic for proactivity for us here. Here's the thing as well, you want a bunch of bombs in your hand, right? So you don't want to mulligan any of these, and that's why like Triss is also good, it's just like a scaled up bomb. Even got Marilon, right? I think ditching Royal Decree is not an option. Imagine we missed a Nero, the Royal Decree would have been so crucial, right? But while Rodea can be an extra Maddox, she's also just good, right? Like, Urn of Shadows is just nuts on stuff like Maruna, Manticore. How about unlimited Vi's? So having more than one Vi is like not very good because Vi just strengthens itself for it and goes back into the deck. So playing multiple Vi's doesn't really do anything of use. You're basically just splitting your points into, into two cards, which is just bad, right? You're carrying over onto two cards rather than one. Maybe like the, the, the death wish ratio. Like we could still play Haunt, I think, right? Haunt would be the main card we'd try and squeeze into this deck somehow. So I think the main thing we've got to try and do is get Haunt in here just based off these games. Like it would have given me a proactive play instead of this rock feed. This one, right? Excuse me. Positioning is uh, not a strength of mine, it seems. This is so bad, right? Why did I not go here? Because then I just go nearer for this. Alright, guys, are you ready for this? Come on! Come on! Worth a try. We've got the red haze for one damage here. Can't go wrong. So we need horn shock. It's almost like that was obvious. <laughs> Could ditch royal decree. I don't want to ditch Triss. I also don't really want to ditch heat wave. I want to play Rodea. Work it out. Easy rebuke.
It's a pretty juicy lass. But yeah, I mean, we have to play Flip It and Haunt, mate. I just don't have enough Death Wish cards, right? To go around. No, I want to cancel, man. Why did I do that? Oh, God, guys. I think I need to go sleep for a bit. We should still win, though. But what a stupid play, mate. I mean, it's, it's better if they don't have a boost card, right? We know they have Gord. Okay, it looks like we get away with it. We've got to get a horn in this bitch, right? Alright, let's go. We can still improve this deck though. We can still improve. Hey Caden, what's up man? <laughs> 